Hi there, Phil Ben Klaus here from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This week in Focus on GRA, we take a look at the legal and other provisions in place to support the production and services sector, namely manufacturing and agriculture. And we will introduce you to some small and medium business operators who put sufficient time and resources into their production. This is where Focus on GRA begins. If you're importing a motor vehicle and you need to know what duties and taxes to pay, then these are the recent tax measures that apply to different categories of motor vehicles. Motor vehicles under 1500 cc and 4 years old and over attract a flat excise tax rate of $800,000. The rate of customs duty on motor vehicles under 4 years old with an engine capacity less than 1500 cc has been reduced from 45% to 35%. Wow. And there is no value-added tax on all electric motor vehicles under four years old. These measures took effect from February 6, 2023. For more information, contact GRA's Tax Advisory Services section, 227-6060, extension 8000. Welcome to Focus on GRA. This is a production from the Ghana Revenue Authority for Taxpayer Education. Now this week we focus on manufacturing and agriculture to share information and knowledge about the provisions in the tax laws that offer relief and support to their growth and expansion. We will also be speaking to a few small and medium scale manufacturers and stakeholders in agriculture about the input in terms of their resources and time to help you understand why these support mechanisms are so necessary. There are numerous stakeholders in the manufacturing and agriculture sectors, mostly at the small and medium scale levels, who drive sustained livelihoods and economic growth in the country. This is just one reason why policies like tax exemptions from raw materials, packaging, small business loans, training and technical assistance are in place to support the sector's growth. This allows service providers like German Hall, the CEO of Country Boy Farming Supplies in Essequibo, to benefit from zero VAT on packaging materials used in the poultry industry, hatching eggs, live chicks and livestock, fertilizers, agrochemicals, pesticides, paddy, vegetable seeds, fishing supplies, livestock feed, goods and services in agro-processing facilities, cold storage and packaging. My business, we supply feed to farmers across Guyana and we have an app that will track different periods like in the uh, like in the animal cycle and uh, stock taking. And so we take care of farmers from the veterinary needs to equipment, anything across the agricultural board, we supply it and we, supply, we, we, we take care of farmers. The zero rated status allows the supplier to provide the goods and services VAT free and recover any cost incurred to acquire them. Likewise, Mina Ramnarain, founder of BNR Products at Auckland Quarantine Babies, can benefit from zero VAT on raw and packaging materials used in the production of goods, including biodegradable containers used in the packaging of food and beverages. At BNR, we do agro processing, which we do multi based beans based flour, um, that is the sattva. We also do dry seasoning, we do pickles, we do packaging of long time um, got the sweetie which is like in a rubber band which, you know when you go to school you have the rubber band sweetie the long time sweetie we do packaging on that so um my business start from bureau um ssbb has lent me allow um allow me to have the grant and from there i start to start my business in 2020. Zero-rated manufactured goods and services also encompass those under any investment agreement. Those goods include machinery and equipment, motor vehicles, tools, spears and supplies for other approved industry when imported by a person in accordance with an agreement or contract signed by the government or in accordance with the published guidelines and or regulations specified to the industry. 
So during Burbis Expo 2023, we spoke to a few small and medium scale manufacturers to get an understanding and an appreciation of the amount of time, energy and resources that usually have to go into the manufacturing process and why it's so important for these stakeholders to benefit from tax relief on things like raw and packaging material. We had the privilege of speaking to Mr. Leslie Ramla. He's an agro-processor and vice president of Only Coconuts, located on the Linden Suicide Highway. Chion Chisholm from Guyana Rainforest Honey, located at Sandroot on the west coast of Barbies. And Ms. Isbeth Sinclair from MI Business Enterprise, which specializes in herbal tea. MNI Business Enterprise is an agro-processing company uh, where we do herbal teas. Right now that's the main products. We have nine herbal teas. We have teasum. We have curafrol. We also have coriolis bitters. We have uh, tulsi or holy basil. We have merengue sunrise. We have lemongrass. We have sour sap leaf and guava leaf. We also do merengue powder. We also do ground orange peel and some other products. We would normally pick our leaves, dry them, process them, and then we package at the incubator center at Belvedere. We import our packaging since the package is not available in Guyana. Yeah, but in terms of the raw materials, everything is local, 100% grown right here in Guyana. Seed jewelry, that is my focus. Uh, I use the local seeds that we find here in Guyana to make uh, earrings mostly, uh, bracelets, necklaces, but earrings are the most popular. I grow my own seeds from my backyard. Uh, sometimes I can find them around different places in Burbese still. So I will go and pick the seeds by hand myself, my husband as well. And then we take them home, we sort them out, we drill the seeds ourselves and we source uh, a metal called gold fill, which is exactly, um, it's the next best thing after real gold. It uses a thick layer of real gold. And it's bonded onto a base metal and it's hypoallergenic. It's not gonna tarnish. It's not gonna turn your ears green. These seeds actually last a very long time. So why not choose metals that will also last a very long time? This here is the rice form you could get the honey. Take it out from the, the, the apron. You take it from the apron, and you take it to your, your honey house. You cut the, the frames, like you uncap it. You call it original. It's uncapping, and you put it in the extract, and you spin it off. So when you spin it there now, from there you strain and you bottle. Nature Boy Rainforest Honey, located at Sandford Village, West Coast Babies, manufactures pure honey and other byproducts such as organic soap, face scrubs, and beeswax. All its materials for packaging and labeling are sourced locally. This is half the beeswax, likewise the honey. We have frog oil, coconut oil, the vitamin E oil and have neem and stuff inside. Great for softening the hair, right? And like fungus and these things. But then we have our aloe vera oil here. Yeah. The aloe vera oil is mainly aloe vera, right? The black seed oil, it have water in it, honey, right? Coconut oil, crab oil and stuff. Along with being eligible for corporation tax at the rate of 25% on chargeable profits, small manufacturers also benefit from loans, training, and technical assistance once registered with the Small Business Bureau. We do have two incubator centers, and these, are, these incubator centers are, are mainly focused on agro production. Right? So we have the, the virgin coconut oil that we have running, and this is right in Belvedere in Barbies here. Um, so any small business who, who has um, coconuts and who wants to be involved in coconuts, they can come there and all of our services are free of charge. Right? Our focus is mainly entrepreneurship. We want businesses in Guyana to grow. So as long as they can bring their coconuts there, we can convert that coconut into pristine virgin coconut oil. We have a number of um, clients doing flowers too. So we would have the whole processing. The, the entire, um, we have a, a, a agro-processing for flowers, for a number of um, cassava flower, edo flower, plantain flower. Um, we also have a blow molder at the incubator that will blow plastic bottles. Um, and this year, we will, these we will um, 
help to give the, the small agriculturists to put their oils in and to put water and water from work. Large manufacturers like Only Coconuts on the Linden Suzdike Highway has automated its operations to maximize production and supplies markets throughout CARICOM, Canada and the United States. Manufactured goods are zero rated when they are entered at customs for exports, provided that 50% of the exports are from raw materials and packaging used in the production. It is very simple for us looking at the assistance that you're getting from GRE. Once you work with a broker who understands the system and in terms of having the relevant um, agencies like um, you have the Drug Enforcement Agency from your side, CANU, police and those sort of things, to ensure that at least in our case, I try to get them as much as possible to come to the facility. So that helps with the inspection there and then going through down to customs. So we have not encountered any challenges with, with GRE thus far. And I think the process is really good once you support the system, all right? And, and you know how to work with your broker who understands the system. We have not found any challenges thus far. Precision Global Inc. is the largest coconut processing facility in South America. And we have the capacity of uh, utilizing 120,000 coconuts on a daily basis. Currently, we are making several coconut products, including the virgin, the, sorry, the refined coconut oil, which is used mostly for your everyday cooking. We have coconut flour, which is a very healthy product. Very healthy product is gluten-free. So, you know, once something is gluten-free, it's a much more healthy product. We have coconut chips, a very healthy snack, which is, used, which is baked and not fried. And then you have the shredded coconut, which is used at mostly for your garnishing or your toppings. And then we can't go without the virgin coconut oil, which is cold press. And all if we know about coconut oil, virgin coconut oil is used mostly in the cosmetic industry. So this is a very, very healthy product for your hair, for your skin. And we found a lot of people are also consuming this product um, directly. It's currently we're purchasing most of our coconuts from the Espibu region. And so with that, with an automated system, we also utilize a lot of staff, but because of the automated mechanized system, it's a very, very uh, good system that ensures that if you, let's say, we have a customer that orders a container load of products, then within a week, we're able to produce that container load of products. So Manufacturers also qualify for exemption from the payment of customs duty on items such as materials for industry, fishing boats and equipment, agriculture, materials for manufacturing of alcohol and the like. Manufacturers of flour and poultry feed also qualify for customs duty exemption and zero rating of VAT, while all other approved manufacturers are exempt from customs duty on imported raw and packaging materials. Those who qualify for exemptions on raw and packaging materials are required to have a registered manufacturing establishment. They must apply to the Commissioner General and submit a list of the raw and packaging materials used in their manufacturing operation. The GRA will conduct a verification of the manufacturing process to determine eligibility. Applicants are required to submit in writing to the Commissioner General an application letter for the exemption, along with the invoice or quotation for the supplies, their taxpayer identification number, and tax compliance for the previous year. Capital Equipment and Machinery for Agriculture and Manufacturing, once declared at customs, is automatically zero rated from VAT and does not require an exemption letter. Well, that's all the time we have for you in this week's Focus on GRA. For more information on manufacturing and agriculture and the tax exemptions provided, we encourage you to visit our website, gra.gov.gy. You can also check out our social media platforms to learn more. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and we have a YouTube channel. If you need to contact us, contact our Tax Advisory Services section, 227-6060, extension 8000. Fibbing Crowd saying take good care of yourselves and each other.